In old Hawaii, she was considered the richest woman in the state. Princess Ruth lived a life of royalty, but left behind a legacy of loyalty. Kamakapili has more in tonight's edition of Aloha Authentic. In Hawaii, names are important. Why? Because they tell a story. Are you familiar with the meaning of the street you live on? Our weekly Aloha Authentic segment highlights various roadways across the islands so we can dig into those given names and, in turn, learn something new about Hawaii and our history. This week, we bring our attention to a vahine who stood her ground during a time of drastic change. Within the Ahupua'a of Kaumalumalu and Pahoehoe, which lie within the moku of Kona on Hawaii Island, stands a roadway that carries the name of a Hawaiian princess considered the last link to the old Hawaiian ways. We're talking about Princess Keelikolani Drive. Born in 1826, Princess Ruth Keelikolani lived a life of resistance to the new and perpetuated the old. Born six years after the arrival of the first missionaries, Princess Ruth remained loyal to her native culture. She refused to speak English despite being fluent, forcing foreigners to speak to her in Hawaiian language or via a translator. She chose to live in a grass hut instead of her western palace and continued to honor her Hawaiian deities. In 1880, Mauna Loa erupted, threatening the town of Hilo, so Princess Ruth was called from Oahu to help. When she arrived on island, she walked to the edge of the lava flow to give praise to her fire deity, Pele. Her offerings included prayers, red handkerchiefs, and the liquor, brandy. She slept nearby only to wake up the next morning to the lava stopped in its tracks. Princess Ruth Keelikolani died at the age of 57 from heart disease. She was considered the largest landowner and the richest woman in all Hawaii. Did you know? Now you do.